Hey guys, sorry, my time ran out on my video, so I have to make a new one to go over this last problem. So, let's look at it. Remember, we're looking at why we use conversion in the real world. Why is it important? All right, Nate and Landon are having a competition to see who can lift the heaviest rock. Nate chooses a really big rock and lifts it high over his head. He then weighs his rock on a scale, and the scale reads seven and two tenths kilograms. Landon finds a large rock and he too lifts it over his head. When Landon places his rock on the scale, it reads 5,740 grams. Now, Mr. Ortega comes out to see what his sons are up to, and he is very proud of how strong they are. He wants to know the total amount of weight his sons lifted all together. Help Mr. Ortega find the answer to his question. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is look at the information provided. And we can see that we are talking about kilograms and grams. So before we can even try to answer this question, we have to convert our units so that they are the same. Remember, this is why conversion is important, because sometimes things are weighed in two different units of measurement. We can't do anything with that until we are able to compare them. And that we can only compare them if they're the same unit. So that's the first step. Step one, get them in the same units. You can convert kilograms to grams or grams to kilograms. I think for this time, I'll show you something a little bit different and I'll go from small to big so we can review how to do that, all right? So I'm gonna take my 5,740 grams and I'm gonna convert that to kilograms. So remember the very first thing that you wanna do is simply write your conversion equation. All right, I'm gonna draw my steps. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. All right, in this case, I'm gonna go from grams, which is my base unit, to kilograms. I'm going from small to big, divide that pig. So I'm gonna go from 5,740, and I'm gonna divide that. Now remember, we're dividing it because we're going from the smaller unit to the bigger unit. The smaller unit is gonna have more than the bigger unit because it takes less of the bigger unit to weigh the same amount as that small unit. So that's why we're dividing. What are we dividing by? Let's count our hops. One, two, three. Three hops gives me a thousand. So we're gonna divide by 1,000. We are not gonna do some crazy long division problem. We're gonna remember that 1,000 is a power of 10. And so we will simply say, is that a power of 10 I see? Then all you gotta do is listen to me. There's only one rule, that's not a lot. All you gotta do is move that dot. Stop, where's the dot? At the end, that's right. Multiply to the right, to the right, to the right. Divide to the left, to the left, to the left. We're gonna divide by 1,000, which is three hops. So here we go, one, two, three put it in there. So 5,740 grams is equivalent to five and 740 thousandths kilograms or 74 hundredths kilograms because that zero doesn't matter. So we can get rid of it. So that's step one. So now we can go up here. We can cross this out. Although I think for the sake of it, I'm just going to turn this comma into a period, a decimal and turn grams into kilograms. So now when we read it, it says that Nate lifts his rock, which is seven and two tenths kilograms, and Landon lifts his rock, which is five and 74 hundredths or 740 thousandths kilograms. So now we're working with the same measurement so we can go and answer the question. And the question is that Mr. Ortega wants to know the total amount of weight his sons lifted all together. So we've got Nate and what he lifted, and we've got Landon and what he lifted, and Mr. Ortega wants to know how much did both of his boys lift together. So we've got to add that together. So this becomes an addition problem. So I'm going to clear my workspace. And I'm going to actually solve this problem. Remember, I can't solve the problem until my units of measurement are the same. Once they're the same, I can solve the problem. So I'm going to take 7 and 2 tenths. And I'm going to take my five and seven hundred forty thousandths. And we're going to say when you add decimals, this is what you do. 
Line up your decimals straight and true. If you see a blank space, put a zero in. Add them up from right to left, and now you've reached the end. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus four is four. Seven plus two is seven, eight, nine. Bring down your decimal. Seven plus five is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so let me type in my answer so I can write it as a sentence. He wants to know the total amount of weight his sons lifted together. So I'm going to say together, comma, Nate and Landon lifted 12 and 94 hundreds. I'm going to take that zero off since it doesn't matter. We're talking about kilograms. I think that's all right. Together, Nate and Landon lifted 12 and 94 hundredths kilograms. Yeah, that's it. We answered the question. So there you have it. Our answer to this very real world question. So Nate and Landon, if you ever go out and lift heavy rocks over your head, don't so much they weigh and we'll do this problem again for real. All right. So today and every day. Oops, let me get rid of this so you can read it. Make sure you check the unit of measurement before solving the problem. If not, you're going to look like this guy right here. It's not going to make sense and it's not going to work out. You can't add apples and oranges, so you've got to make it fruit. You've got to make it the same thing. Change your apples to oranges, your oranges to apples. That metaphor doesn't really make as much sense, but you get it. Your units of measurement have to be the same, okay? And that's exactly what my remember tells you. When working with measurement, the units must always be the same. So there you go. There's two videos, since I couldn't fit it in one, to tell you why conversion matters and why we would do it in the real world. So I hope these two videos have helped. Continue to work hard on USA Test Prep. Continue to send me any questions you have. See saw me a video of you solving the problems so I can see how you're doing. All right, bye guys.